Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a really simple overnight oats recipe. Make this the night before and you're going to be all set to go in the morning. We're going to start out with half a cup of old fashioned rolled oats. This is going to serve as a great base for our oatmeal and we're going to want to use equal parts of this and equal parts milk later on. We then want to add a plant based protein powder. I like to use vanilla because it adds the amount of sweetness that I enjoy, but feel free to use whatever it is that you prefer or have on hand. I then like to add a couple of sliced almonds. This is going to add just a little bit of extra protein into the dish and you can add as many or as little as you like. I then like to go in with some vegan chocolate chips. This helps to add a little bit more sweetness to the dish and they are super easy to find and taste the exact same as regular milk chocolate chips. I then like to add just a couple of chia seeds for some added fiber, and now you have the option of adding in a granola. I like a really simple granola. This one here is only four ingredients. It's going to add a little bit more crunch to the oatmeal along with some added sweetness due to those chocolate chip chunks that it does have in it. Or you can skip over this step and just add in the vegan chocolate chips like we did before. These here are the ones that I like and they are super easy to find at any Walmart or Kroger in the allergen free section. We're then going to go in here and really mix this all together. The protein powder likes to settle to the bottom of the dish sometimes, so we're going to scrape along the sides of the cup and kind of flip the oats over as opposed to just stirring it together. Now you're going to add in half a cup of any plant-based milk. I prefer oatmeal, but you can use almond or soy, whichever. We're going to want the consistency here to be a little thick and hard to stir. And like I said before, make sure we're doing equal parts milk as we are to oatmeal. After we have that all stirred together, you can just cap it and chill it in the fridge. I like to do overnight, but eight or six hours is still going to be perfectly fine. Top it with some fresh berries in the morning and you're going to be all good to go. The most simple and satisfying breakfast that you've ever had to make.